Hello guys, can you see me? Can you hear me? Just uh, give me a confirmation please. That would be amazing. Just let me know if you can hear me and see me. Yes, it's the Menti quiz. As soon as I see myself live, we'll begin with the session. Hello. Okay, wonderful. Hi, guys. Okay, so this is a Menti quiz. As you already know about it. And hi, everybody. I am Bhavna Vish. This is me live. That's my photo that you see up there. That's right. And I teach physics, chemistry, and biology. Yes. We are going to be having a mentee quiz. So let me quickly introduce myself. So, so I'm Bhavna Bish and I teach science. And um, I am a plus educator. So you can find me on Unacademy. And yes, I take special classes. <coughs> Sorry, I take special classes uh, every day on the Unacademy app. That's right. You can also find me on Telegram. This is the link. You can follow me on the Unacademy app and join me on community. And also, as I told you, I take special classes every day at 7 p.m. And let me tell you, special classes are super duper amazing. Why? Because you can ask me any questions that you have. Along with that, you can participate in uh, amazing quizzes and you don't even have to, you know, play with the screen. It's all gonna be one. That's right. Everything is just in one place. You do not have to split screen. You do not have to just go anywhere else. Right. So everything is super duper amazing. And um, I cannot see your chats if you can. Oh, yes, I can now. Hi, Sriniti. Hi, Bhave Gupta. Hi, Gopal Sharma. Hello, Harshit. Uh, hi, Priyanka Johan. Hello. Welcome to the session. Hi, Rushati. Hi, Prerna Chaudhary. Hello, you guys. So, yes, we have a mentee today. And the mentee code is on the screen. Hi, Mrugal Krishna. Hello. Welcome to the session. Okay, guys, so all you have to do is go out there, spread the menti code, spread the link of this uh, session so that you can get as much competition as you want. Yes, the code is 9733265. Fast, you guys, fast. Come on, you can do it. Once you have joined the mentee, let me know. And also do not forget to share the link with your friends. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you're excited about it. Oh, ho, Bhavya Gupta, you're gonna rock. Ashirwad kya? Pura ashirwad aap ke saath hai. Okay, I will open the quiz. Do not worry about it. Okay, so, um, yes, Bhavya. Hi, Vinay. Hello. Yes, guys, the quiz is open. As you can see, it's in the screen, on the screen as well. The code is 9733265. Chalo, jaldi se join karo. Agar aapka join karke ho gaya hai, let me know in the chat section. Uh, the topic for today is how do organisms reproduce. You are going to be doing the entire, entire chapter. Are we done? Ready? Uh, hi, Vinay. Hello. Let 
let's see who have joined us. The code is on the top of the screen, guys. It is 9733265. Wonderful. Guys, we are doing 50 questions. Half century. That's right. So, chalo, fata for join. That's amazing, Vinay. Let's see who is hai. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. That's right. We have a big 50 questions. Let's quickly make it 15 and we can start. We'll begin as soon as the clock strikes 3.10. Achha, chalo, mujhe batao, kaun, kaun hai, which movie to use in the chat section you, you can let me know about that when I unfortunately I cannot do that Okay, last few seconds, everybody. Very, very last few seconds. The code is 9733265. And the time's up. Let's begin. You can still join. Oh, hi, Vaishavi Rai. You can still join. The code is 9733265. Okay. The very first question is on the screen. Oh, kya fast answer diya hai. So let's see who we have here. The correct answer is adolescence. That is absolutely correct. And let's see the very first leaderboard on the screen. Yes. Ooh, so we have Johnny, very nice, followed by Sharia Harshan Gotwal. Shubhi Sahu, very nice. Priyanka uh, Shaman, very nice. Then we have Bhavya Kal Ford Denge. Are RG Ford Denge. Hi, Nishati Modak. Hello, Vinay Chaudhary and Mitali. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's move on to the next question, shall we? Chali Aage Bartha. Agle Prashna Ki Or. Agla Prashna Aapka. Second question of the 15 questions. Guys, if you've just joined us, you can still join us because we have so many questions to go. So, the correct sequence of reproductive stages seen in flowering plants is. The correct sequence of reproductive stages seen in flowering plants is. Make sure that you are reading all the options very very carefully and fir ja ke hi aap uttar de rahe hain ek particular prashn ka last 10 seconds to go very nice and very good oh only 9 of you have given us the correct answer da 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 just say he fertilization. Fertilization karta kon hai? Needs karta hai, right? As soon as the fertilization is done, we get zygote. From zygote, we get embryo. As we are talking about plants over here, we'll be getting seed. And seed ko uh, grow karke, germinate karke. I'm going to get a seedling, right? So, therefore, the correct answer is gamete, zygote, embryo, and a seedling. Yes. Hi everybody, you can still join us on uh, Menti using the code 9733265. Hi Isha, hello, welcome to the session. Oh ho ho. So we have Bhavya, Kal Ford, Rishati, Vaishnavi, hi, five. But I, so we have Priyanka, Shiva, Shamoon. And then we have Sharia, Harshad, Shubhi and Shaman at the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations everybody. 
uh, we have all the questions from the chapter how do organisms reproduce nawab the sam let's move on to the next question come on next question aapke screen par aa raha hai the asexual reproduction in spirogyra involves what you have only 30 seconds to answer read all the options very very carefully all those are easy ekdam but <coughs> sorry so this is actually reproduction in spirogyra what does is what does it involve yes last 5 seconds to go and let's see let's see let's see kya baat kya baat oh here also formation of large number of buds spirogyra there is no formation of buds guys spirogyra is famous for fragmentation Yes, and uh, so uh, इसका ना ऐसे मस्त बाल जैसा स्ट्रक्चर होता है फिलामेंट जो स्ट्रक्चर होता है विच ब्रेक्स इन टू फ्रैगमेंट्स एंड ईच फ्रैगमेंट दैन डेवलप्स इन टू अ न्यू इंडिविजुअल ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन एंड लेट्स सी कौन है इस लीडर बॉडम बताइए ओ हो 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 So we have Rishiti, Modak, Bhavya, Shiva, Vaishnavi, Vinay, Shubhi, Priyanka, Shriniti, Clippy, Shamoon are the top ten on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody! Hi, no name. Hello, welcome to the session. Chalo. Agle question ki taraf chale. Shall we move on to the fourth question? Are the fifteen co fifteen questions that we have? So go, everybody. <coughs> Sorry. Which of the two states have two extra days of casual leave per month for government employees? Specifically, uh, it's very important over here when we talk about menstruation, right? So menstruation, menstrual cramps, uh, the the symptoms that every woman uh, experiences are varieties of, right? So therefore, there's a state who has given two extra days of casual leave to the government employees. and you have to guess or if you might not know that's amazing so tell me which is which state is that and you might not have guessed this oh my goodness the correct answer is bihar that's right bihar is a state that gives you two days of um uh, casual leave yes No, this is not there in the textbook. This is some extra in the information knowledge that you should have. So Priyanka and Clippy have given us the fastest answer. Priyanka have given us the fastest answer. So we have Rishiti, Modak, Bhavya, Shiva, Vaishnavi, Priyanka, Vinay, Shubhi, Shriniti, Clippy, and Shamoon are the top ten on the leaderboard. Congratulations. Yes, let's move on to the next question. Harsha, that question was important because you know. uh periods are real right they happen every month there is pain associated sometimes it's too much of pain and that too for half of the population in the world that are females right so it's very important to acknowledge that yes and that's why that question becomes important okay next question which among the following is the change seen in girls during puberty Now this is a very easy peasy lemon squeezy question. Broader shoulders, cracking of voice, breast development, growth of facial hair. So which of the changes do we see in girls? Whenever you guys are ready. Perfect. Times up. And the correct answer is breast development. I think this is the first question that every majority of you have answered correct. Very nice. So we have Rushiti, Bhavya, Shiva, Vaishnavi, Priyanka, Vinay, Shubhi, Sahu, Shriniti, Clippy, and Shamoon are the top ten on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Let's move on to the next question. <coughs> Sorry. Let's move on to the next question. Which among these is not a part of the testicle? Okay. 
which among these is not part of the mystery? If you have answered in mentee already, you can answer in the chat section. Ki pistol male reproductive organ hai plant ka ya female reproductive organ hai plant ka? Yes. What is pistol? Male or female reproductive organ of the plant? Yes. So if this idea is clear to everybody, I think the answer is so simple. Which is... Very nice, everybody has voted, and the correct answer is stamen. That is absolutely correct. Why? Because a uh, pistil is what it is a female reproductive structure. Yes, oh, 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 Bhavya Gupta, pistol. Kaha chale gaya ya? So, pistil is a female reproductive structure. So, it has what it has the nice stigma, style, and ovaries. Stamen is a part of male reproductive system. Yes. <laughs> Nawab. Okay, so we have Rushiti, Bhavya, Priyanka, Vinay, Shubhi, Shiva, Vaishnavi, and Harshit, and Clippy, and Sriniti are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Yes, knew it. It was going to be autocorrect. Okay. I think students should not use autocorrect. So, my spelling is not going to then when sometimes you'll write when and you'll be like, ah, when ka spelling W-H-E-N-E-Y. Yeah. Never wondered about it. So this type of asexual reproduction grows a part of an animal. Example, hydra, planaria, crabs. I mean, no question can be easier than this. You have literally been given examples right and that is like the distinguishing point of anything so whenever you guys are ready very nice times up and the correct answer is regeneration absolutely correct see regeneration only grows in most of the animals only a particular part right for example in humans its liver grows half of the liver back if we lose half of it or similarly in lizard it grows the tail back if we lose the tail of it right so in very very few organism it gives you an entire entire body but generally it deals with only one part a particular part and therefore the correct answer is regeneration is that clear to everybody let's see the leaderboard so who do we have on the leaderboard Yes. So we have Rushiti, Bhavya, Shubhi, uh, Shiva, Priyanka, then Vinay, Nawab, Tinki, Vaishnavi, Shamoon are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. Uh, Hydra also, as you can see in the question right here. Yes. Yeah, so these are all examples of regeneration. Okay. Hydra regeneration bhi dikhata hai. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. That is the 8th question out of the 50 questions that we'll be doing. The photo is given to you on the screen. You have to identify the process. Do you know which organism this is? Anybody in the chat section? Sorry. The photo that you see. Con hevo. Con hevo. Bolo, 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 bolo. Who is that? That's right. Last five seconds to go. It is, it is, it is, it is. Who can tell me what it is? Diagram nahi aaya. That's right. It's yeast. That's absolutely correct, Bhavya. The correct answer is yeast, and yeast shows the process of budding. Absolutely correct. So we have. Everybody has given us the correct answer. So we have Rishati, Bhavya, Shubhi, Shiva, Priyanka, Thinky, uh, Nawab, Shamoon, Sanvi, and Clippy are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Yes, very good, Bhavya. You have given us the fastest answer. Four to aaj aap hi doge. Chalo. For let's move on to the next question. Let's move on to the ninth question.
डैश इज कोल्ड एज अ मास्ट ग्लैंड आई एम वॉन्डरिंग कि मैम ग्लैंड का क्वेश्चन क्यों आ गया बिकॉज इन दिस चैप्टर वी डील विद मेनी ग्लैंड राइट सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक हॉर्मोन्स लाइक ईस्ट्रोजन टेस्टोरॉन राइट इनको एक्चुअली कौन बोलता कौन है कि नाउ इज अ टाइम टू गेट रिलीज नाउ इज अ टाइम टू गो एंड जस्ट रेन यस सो हु डज दैट इज इट एड्रोनल ओवरी पैनक्रियास पिट्यूटरी विच ग्लैंड इज द मास्टर ग्लैंड वॉट डू यू थिंक uh very nice no it's not out of the chapter harshit i have i had told you this remember yes we did a photo it was there on the photo itself so thank you kids learning so it is the correct answer is pituitary absolutely correct very very nice so let's see the leaderboard see pituitary gland gives a signal to the adrenal glands adrenal glands gives a signal to the ovary in females and to the testes in the males to start releasing the sex hormone that is the estrogen and the testosterone respectively yes <coughs> so we have rishiti bhavya shukri shiva priyanka thinki shamun uh, shaman harshit and clippy are the top 10 on the leaderboard congratulations everybody and the fastest answer is given to us by rushiti modak absolutely amazing let's move on to the next question oh so now we are at the 10th question we are on the 10th 10th question ready Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. According to UNICEF, now again, this is something that's not explicitly given in your textbooks, but something that I think every one of us should be aware about. So, according to UNICEF, okay, that is United Nation International Children's Emergency Fund, how many percentage of young women in India remain unaware of menstruation until their first cycle? Yes. Just take a wild, wild guess. You're living in this country, so what do you think? That's right. It is seventy-one percent is the absolute correct answer. Yes. So you you understand that uh, how much taboo is present around the topic of menstruation. people do not uh, discuss menstruation people do not discuss reproductive health and if these topics are kept under such hush then it's going to create problems for the next generation right for example there might be some things that you would have avoided but as you were not knowing about them you would you would do it anyway and then you would uh, go through the repercussions right so it's very important that we have a open conversation about everything while well, you see india is such a big country there are billions of people in it and if 71% of the girls are not knowing that they are going to have menstruation how are they going to be mentally prepared you know how many girls drop out of the school as soon as they receive their periods so the situation is a dire and that is why we should all know about it yes so let's move on no issues now yeah that's what my duty is Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. So we have Rishiti, Shubhi, Shiva, Harshit, Rain giving Vaishnavi giving us the correct answer, and that changes the leaderboard a lot. So we have Shubhi giving us the fastest answer. Rishiti, Bhavya, Shubhi, Shiva, Priyanka, Harshit, Thinki, Shamoon, Vaishnavi, and Rain are the top ten on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Let's move on to the next question. next question that is the 11th question of the 50 questions that we are having so let's go let's go let's go let's go in human males the testes lie in the scrotum because why yes the testes are present uh, in the scrotal sac right and i don't know i think it is present inside the abdominal cavity outside left right i don't know but why 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 is it so come on everybody you can do it do it last 5 seconds to go yes 
Very nice. Majority of you have given us the absolute correct answer. So in human males, the testes lie in the scrotum because we know if the testes are placed inside the body, the body temperature is not, not optimum for the production of sperms, right? Therefore, testes are placed outside the body in the scrotal sac and that because you require temperature 2-3 degrees lesser than the body temperature and that is good for formation of sperms, okay? Uh, hi there, Pande. Hello. Uh, oh. Thank you there. So, uh, we will start from March, mid of March, March 17. You can go to my profile and you will get uh, the new course that is coming up for you. So, we have Rushati, Bhavya, Shubhi, Shiva, Priyanka, Harshit, Tinki, Shamoon, Vaishnavi and Rink. Amazing. So, we have Shubhi again giving us the fastest answer. And that is amazing. <coughs> Thank you so much. I mean, sorry. That's right, Shorya Singh. Absolutely correct. Let's move on to the next question. That is the 12th question of the 50 questions that we'll be doing. Requires only one parent creating a clone of themselves, no diversity and large amounts of offsprings. Which one does this? Natural selection, selective breeding, sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction. Who do you think? Yes. That's very nice. That is asexual reproduction. So they are not creating a diversity. Why? Because only one parent is involved. The, the same parent, the mother cell is going to divide, give rise to two daughter cells. The daughter cells will become other cells themselves. And they will also just divide mitotically and clone of themselves, right? So that is asexual reproduction. Very, very nice. <coughs> So we have Rishiti Moda giving us the fastest answer and on top of the leaderboard should be Sahu, Bhavya, Shiva, Priyanka, Harshit, Thinki, Shamoon, Vaishnavi and Shaman are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. Okay, ready to move on? Let's go on to the 13th question for today. Come on. We can do it. The tradition of menstrual leave. The tradition of menstrual leave started in which nation? South Korea, Japan, Taiwan or America? Yes. As I told you, menstrual leave is not a thing that is um, common everywhere. Right, you might have heard in the recent news that Zomato was the one that gave uh, Facebook came into the picture, right? And little by little, people are getting aware about it. People are understanding what particularly the other gender goes through, right? So it's gaining momentum. It's gaining momentum now, but which was the nation? So absolutely correct. The correct answer is Japan. Japan was the very first nation who started the tradition of menstrual leave that's absolutely correct let's see the leaderboard so Rishiti, Bhavya, Tinki, Srinati have given us the absolute correct answer so we have Rishiti, Bhavya, Shubhi, Shiva, Tinki, Priyanka, Harsha, Chamun, Srinati and Vaishnavi are the top 10 on the leaderboard congratulations everybody and Tinki have given us the fastest answer that's amazing very, very nice. Charlie and Bartha, Agla question ki taraf. Agla question, aapke screen par a raha hai. And the question is the 14th question or the 15 questions that we will be doing. How does
does the human sperm locomote? Does it locomote with the help of flagella? Does it locomote with the help of cilia, neutrophils, or none of the above? Yes. How does a human sperm locomote? Flagella, cilia, neutrophils, none of the above. Come on, everybody. You can do it. Very simple, very easy. A long tail-like structure. What would that look like? Who is that? And that is none other than flagella that is absolutely correct so if you see the structure of a sperm it has this tail like structure right and that tail is nothing but flagella now some of you might get confused ki yaar wo cilia to nahi but cilia kaise hota hai cilia mein small hair like structures hote hain okay it's and in flagella there's this one hair like structure which is long okay so therefore the correct answer is option a flagella So we have Bhavya, Shubhi, Thinki, Shamoon, Vaishnavi, Shaman. Very, very good work. So we have Rishiti, Modak, Bhavya, Shubhi, Thinki, Shiva, Shamoon, Priyanka, Vaishnavi, Harshit, and Shaman are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. So we have Shubhi giving us the fastest answer. That's a very nice thing. I know, Shaya. I know. So what happened? Guys, you think these questions are next level? Well, if you if you watch my sessions that I have already taken on this channel itself in the past four days, I have given you all this information, whatever I'm asking you. That's right. And you can also catch the same thing on an Academy Plus and much more. Let's move on. Dash reproduce by releasing spores that germinate into young ones. Yes. Dash reproduce by releasing spores. Oh. Well, 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 the absolute correct answer is uh, fungus, although, although uh, ferns, okay, although ferns also uh, germinate into young ones with the help of spores, okay, so ferns is also the correct answer. Okay, so whoever has given us the correct answer as ferns also will give you. So we have Rishuti should be Vaishnavi Kingman Sakura. So we have Rishuti should be Bhavya, Thinki, Shiva, Vaishnavi, Shamun, Sriniti, Priyanka, and Rink are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's move on to the 16th question out of the 50 questions that we have. The hormone that is released. From the testis is. I mean, this is a very easy peasy lemon squeezy question. The hormone that is released from the testis is progesterone, vasopressin, testosterone, or none of the above. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, well, nobody can give this answer that was wrong now, can you? The correct answer is uh, testis. That is absolutely correct. Testis gives you the hormone testosterone. Absolutely right. So, let's see. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, Rushdi, Modak, Shubhi, Bhavya, Tinki, Vaishnavi, Shiva, Shamoon, Srinidhi, Priyanka, and Harshal are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Rushdi, Modak have given us the absolute fastest answer. Very, very nice. <coughs> hmm. 
Next question is 17th question out of the 50 questions. The flowers of the stalk are called as. So you know most of the flowers that you buy, they are always with the stalk, right? You can a dandi over here. Okay? And on the you have this flower. So when you have, uh, and there are some flowers which have a dandi, it is not a stalk. So if a flower has that dandi, has that stalk, so what is it called as? <clears throat> yes, the time's up and the correct answer is pedicillin. That is absolutely correct because the stalk ka scientific name is pedicillin, right? So that is called as pedicillin, clear? The flowers of the stalk are called as pedicillin flowers. So we have Rishiti, Shubhi, Vaishavi, Shamoon, Rink and Shaman. Very, very nice. Rishiti have given us the fastest answer. Wonderful, everybody. Let's move on to the next question. Hi, music lover Sahil. Hello. What do your views become eventually? What do the views become eventually? Come on, you know this answer very simply. You have only two options to choose from. It can either be seeds or fruit. So what do ovules become? Yes, after fertilization, the ovules become into seeds. That is absolutely correct. And, oh no. Okay, so the correct answer, the correct answer is seeds. Yes, so after fertilization, the ovule becomes into seed and the remaining part becomes, uh, the ovary becomes into a fruit. Okay, so this is very, very important even from exams perspective. So let's see. So we have Rishati, Shubhi, Bhavya, Vaishavi, Shamoon, Tinki, Shaman, Shredi, Rink and Kritisha. Hello, welcome to the session. So, very, very good work, Rishuti. Let's move on to the next question. The 19th question out of the 50 questions that we have. The sperm and the urine in males come out of. Yes. So, we have urinary bladder, urethra, all of the above or none of the above. So, ideally, I think you know the answer. Radko session. Uh, Sahil, I take sessions at night on uh, the Unacademy app as well as on um, on Unacademy Plus. So, I can take a session here only in the day. But I'll see if I can change the time. Okay. Very nice. The correct answer is urethra. So, urethra is the place through which the urine as well as the semen comes out from the penis, right? Also guys, whoever is watching the session and if you're like, I type kyun nahi kar sakta? So all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. You can absolutely chat with us on the live chat. Yes. Uh, Rishiti, you will get them before today's session. Don't worry about it. Um, kids learning, Shamoon Azam. My name is Bhavna. It is also there in the hashtag on this session. Yes. Also, this session ke naam mein bhi hai. So, we have Shubhi giving us the fastest answer. Very, very nice. We have Rujati, Shubhi, Bhavya, Vaishnavi, Shamoon, Tinki, Shaman, Kritisha, Shriniti and Sandhi. Very, very nice. Okay, finally, we are moving towards the 50-50 of this session. So, during the menstrual cycle, which of the following events happen if a Released egg does not become fertilized. Okay, agar fertilization nahi hua, and if an egg is released, so which of the following incidents is going to happen? The lining of the womb wall stays built up, another another egg is immediately released. The lining of the womb breaks down. The lining of the wall builds up again. Yeah. So what do you think happens when an egg is not fertilized? Yes. 
absolutely correct. The lining of the wool wall breaks down, so along with the unfertilized egg and the endomost endometrium lining, which is filled with blood vessels, it comes out of the vagina. It is thrown out of the blood. I mean, of the vagina in the form of blood, right? So therefore, the correct answer is option C. Very simple. Let's see, let's see the leaderboard. So we have Rishiti, Modak, Shubhi, Bhavya, Shamoon, Vaishnavi, Thinki, Shaman, Kritesha, Sanvi, and Sriniti are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Agla question, aapke screen ke upar aa raha hai? Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's move on to the next question. Rishiti, it's a very, very nice question. Just can you send this question to me again uh, during the end of the session? Yes, I would really love to discuss on this. This is a temporary organ that connects a mammalian mother to its fetus. Absolutely easy peasy lemon squeezy question. It is not there uh, permanently. It's only there when a mother, a mammalian mother is pregnant. So what is the correct answer? That's right. Absolutely correct. It is placenta. It's a disc-like structure which is present. Guys, can you hear and see me on YouTube? Can you see me on YouTube? Or is it showing loading? Okay, I will sort this out. Uh, so, because I cannot. Okay, so the time primary organ is placenta. Let's look at the leaderboard. So, who do we have here? We have uh, Rushati. Very, oh, most all of you have given us the correct answer. That's amazing. So, we have Rushati, Shubhi, Bhavya, Kal, for the year, Shamoon, Vaishnavi, Thinki, Shaman, Kritisha, Sanvi. Uh, very, very nice. And Priyanka on the 10th position. Wonderful. Let's move on to the next question. There is a 22nd question. Out of the 50 questions that we are attempting to do today, the number of autosomes in humans is. So how many autosomes are present in humans? Yes, you can see very nice. Last 15 seconds to go. Last 10 seconds. Autosomes. Okay? Chromosomes. Hote na? Chromosomes mein, there's a type called as autosomes. So how many autosomes are present in human beings? Yes. The correct answer is 44 guys. I mean what? Number of autosomes, right? How many number of chromosomes are present in human beings? Let me know in the chat section. How many, how many number of chromosomes are present? Hi, Kaushik. Hello. Welcome to the session. You can join us on Menti. So we have how many chromosomes? 23 pairs of chromosomes. Total how many chromosomes chromosome? 46 chromosomes. Right? So 46 chromosomes, we know 22 pairs are autosomes. And one pair is sex chromosome. So 22 pair, if you put the number in the number, how much will it be? 44, right? The correct answer is 44 chromosomes. That is option D. Now this is not out of syllabus. It is just that you have used less drawings. So Krita Shah from the leaderboard has given us the correct answer. Oh, Rishiti. Okay, let's see. So we have Rishiti, Shubhi, Bhavya, Shamoon, Vaishnavi, Thinki, Shaman, Kritisha, Sanvi and Priyanka are the top 10 on the leaderboard. <coughs> Sorry. So guys, this is what happens. If you are just focusing on gaining and if you do not read the question properly. That's right, Bhavya. 
चलो अगला क्वेश्चन दैट इज ट्वेंटी थर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ द फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन दैट वी है two oviducts in a human female unite into an elastic bag so that elastic bag is known as what is it called as vagina is it called as uterus fallopian tube cervix or what is it called as so just so that bag like structure is a none other than the uterus that is absolutely correct so two of the ducts unite into the uterus clear so we have rishiti modak shubhi pinky sanvi and rink giving us the absolutely correct answer and thora sa leader will change to i thora sa so we have rishiti shubhi bhavya pinky shamoon Wise to be Shaman, Kritisha, Sandhi, and Ring are the top ten on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody! Let's move on to the twenty-fourth uh, question or the fifty questions that we have. We are almost nearing fifty, fifty, fifty percent. The bulbo-urethral gland, okay, the bulbo-urethral gland is also known as. So, as you already know. in the male reproductive uh, system right so we have some mangle vesicles we have prostate gland we have bulbo urethral gland these are three glands which secrete their secretions with the sperm right and jab these secretions ko secrete kar dete hain so that becomes semen and it is not sperm alone any more right so what is the correct answer the bulbo urethral gland is also known as everybody That's right. The bulbo urethral gland is also known as the Cowper's gland. Very, very nice. And that is option B. Perfect. So Rushdie, Shubhi, Thinky, Shamu, and Shaman and Rink have given us the absolute correct answer. And um, very nice. So Rushdie, Shubhu, Shubhi, sorry, Bhavya, Thinky, Shamu, and Shaman, Vaishnavi, Kritisha, Sanvi, and Rink are the top ten on the leaderboard. Congratulations! Oh, finally we are at the fifty fifty. Hi everybody on YouTube. If you have not joined us on Menti, you can still that you can still do that. The code is nine seven three three two six five. And let's move on. Where does fertilization occur in human females? Where does fertilization occur in human females? Does it happen in uterus, cervix, fallopian tube, or none of these? Fertilization. Where does fertilization occur? Uterus, cervix, fallopian tube, or none of these? Okay. Perfect. Very nice. That is the fallopian tube. Also called as the oviducts. Very very nice. That is the correct answer. Option C. It is. Oh ho! क्या बात! इतने सारे लोगों ने सही आंसर दिया है. That is wonderful. Let's look at the leaderboard. So who do we have here? So we have Rishiti Modak, Shubhi, followed by Bhavya, Thinky, Shamoon, Shaman, Vaishnavi, Sandhi, Kritisha. And Prerna are the top ten on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody! Very, very nice. Kya baat? Kya baat? Let's move on to the next question. That is the twenty-sixth question of the fifty questions that we have. चलिए 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 आगे बढ़ते हैं बढ़ते हैं बढ़ते हैं सो वट इज द नेम वट इज द नेम ऑफ द ट्यूब दैट कैरीज द स्पर्म फ्रॉम द टेस्टिस टू दीनस वेफरेंस प्रोस्ट्रेट ग्लैंड और समाइनल वेसिकल्स वॉट इज इट कॉल्ड एज इट्स अ ट्यूब डक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर राइट एंड टाइम्स 
up, let's look at the leaderboard. So we have Vaz Deference as the absolutely correct answer. It is also called as a Ductus Deference. So kya hai, kaun hai, kya baat. Every, most of you have given us the correct answer. And we have Rishati Modak, Shubhi, Bhavya, Tinki, Shamun, Shaman, Sanvi, Vaishnavi, Prerna and Rink are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations everybody. Rishati have given us the fastest answer. Very nice. Hi everybody on YouTube, you can join us on Menti using the code 9733265. The Menti code is there in the chat section. You can uh, take that and join us. We still have a lot of questions to go. So, the 27th question of the 50 questions that we have. The flower of the papaya plant. The flower of the papaya plant is bisexual, unisexual, neuter, or very small. What do you think? The flower of the papaya plant is bisexual, unisexual, neuter, or very, very small. Yes. That's absolutely correct. It is unisexual, very, very nice. Why? Because uh, in hibiscus, as you might have known, that there are pollen grains and stigma present in the same flower. So, kya ho gya? Though both of them are present, male and female. So, that becomes bisexual. Whereas in papaya, you will see a different flower which contains the stamen, the filament, right? So, that becomes a male flower. And there's another flower which contains the stigma, the style and the ovary. That is a pistil of the flower. So, that becomes the unisexual, okay? Are hi Himanshu, hello, welcome to the session. Apne dosto se mila nahi, are re Himanshu, why is that so? So we have Rushati, Shubhi, Thinki, Bhavya, Shamoon, Shaman, Sanvi, Prerna, Kritcha, Rink are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, very very nice. Ashish, Aurora officials, hi students. Hi Ashish. Let's move on to the 28th question on the screen. Come on. What is the tube-like part of the flower that pollen grains move down from? So, what is the tube just a structure that just get through pollen tube say, bohat sare students? No, students are the students do not slide down. Pollen grains do. So, what is that called as? This is the anther filament style stamen. What do you think? Who is that? Last five seconds and time's up. Very nice. The correct answer is style. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. The correct answer is style. So we have the stigma, finessa tube like structure, which is the style, and a bulge, which is then called as the ovary. Absolutely correct. Okay, let's see. Oh, most of you have given us the correct answer. So we have Rushati followed by Shubhi, Thinki, Bhavya, Shamun, Sanvi, Shaman, Prerna, Rink and Priyanka are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. Hi, Anjali Chaudhary. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, okay, Himanshu. Well, that's good. Thank you so much. Okay. So, implantation of the embryo occurs where? Yes, so embryo, yes, as soon as zygote formations of all, like zygote is formed. So, zygote is not sitting like this, I will divide it with unicellular loo, I will divide it with it. It starts division on the spot ASAP, right? So, it starts dividing, it forms embryo. So, embryo, where does it implant itself? Last five seconds to go. Well, well, well. And let's see the little boat. That, oh, oh, that's correct. Absolutely correct answer is uterus. Absolutely correct. Oh. All of you have given us the correct answer. That is nice. So we have Rishiti, Shubhi, Thinki, Bhavya, Shamoon, 
Sanvi, Shaman, Prerna, Priyanka, and Kritisha are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. The correct answer is uterus, and the fastest answer is given to us by Kritisha. Very nice, Kritisha. Very nice. Well, the 30th question of the 50 questions that we have. When a sperm is deposited, okay, into the vagina, which route does it travel? So you have to tell the route that is taken by the sperm to finally go and fertilize the egg. Okay, so what do you think is the answer? Option A says vagina, oviduct, uterus, cervix. Option B says vagina, say for directly ovary, for uterus, for oviduct. Option C says vagina, cervix, uterus, oviduct, vagina, uterus, cervix, oviduct. Okay. So whenever you guys are ready, answer, mark the correct option. You have enough time to read through all the options. Very, very nice. The absolute correct answer is option C. It goes from vagina to the cervix. Guys, vagina ke baad direct oviduct aata hai. Kya? Oviduct is nothing but fallopian tube. Vagina hai, so uterus to tum bhuli gai. Chalo cervix bhuul gai, samaj mein bhi aata hai. What? Oh, dekho, ye dekho. B wale to direct over here. MashaAllah. So the correct answer is vagina to cervix to uterus to oviduct. Very, very nice. So the correct answer is option C. Um, there's a three marker question too. Trace the path of sperm from the urethra to the fallopian tube. Uh, right, it's right. It, you can get this for three marks. So very good, Rishuti. So we have Rishuti, Modak, Shubhi, Thinki, Bhavya, Shamoon, Sanvi, Shaman, Prerna, Priyanka, and Drink are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. And Rishuti have given us the fastest answer. Hi, guys. Hello, everybody. You can join us on uh, Menti using the code that is given to you in the chat section, also displayed on the top of the screen. Yes. See, it's not about the rank that you're going to receive on the menti. It's about the practice you're getting, the revision you're getting. And are you really able to solve all the questions? Chalo, next question. The process of release of eggs from the ovary is called as what? When, when the egg is released from the ovary, what is it called as? Menstruation, reproduction, insemination, ovulation. Yes, very simple, super simple, but very, very, very important. And the correct answer is ovulation. Absolutely correct. Most of you have given us the absolute correct answer. Let's look at the leaderboard, shall we? So we have Rishati. Oh, oh, wait. Most of you have given us the correct answer. Bhavya, what happened? So we have Rishati, Shubhi, Thinki, Bhavya, Shamoon, Sanvi, Shaman, Prerna, Rink, and Kritisha are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. And Shamoon has given us the fastest answer. Beautiful, everybody. Let's move on to the next question. That is the 32nd question of the 5th. 50, 50, 50 questions that we have. So, let's go. Hi, everybody. Whoever is new on uh, YouTube, you can join us on menti.com using the code 9733265. So, the period of pregnancy. So, the amount of time in which the baby is there inside the mother's womb, inside the mother's uterus, inside the mother's body. What is it called as? I, is it called as gestation period, incubation, ovulation, menstruation? What is it? Last five seconds to go. And amazing. The correct answer is gestation period. Absolutely, absolutely correct. So when we talk about the period of pregnancy, it, another term which is also called as the gestation period. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa. Everybody has given us the absolutely correct answer in the leaderboard. So we have Bhavya giving us the fastest answer. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. That is the 33rd question out of the 50 questions that we'll be doing. This type of asexual reproduction occurs by developing buds and breaking off. Okay, so you might not know what a spider plant is, but um, just by looking at the description, I think you'll be able to answer. Yes. This developing birds, guys, the men of wonder is just a dare. You don't even have to look around. That's right. The answer is none other than budding. Absolutely correct. So whenever we see production of birds developing and then they take the nutrition from the parent's body and then what do they do? They take the nutrition until they become quite big enough and the parent thinks that, yes, now it uh, is ready to go outside into the world and live alone. So it is cut off from the parent's body, right? So we have Rishati, Shubhi, Thinki, Bhavya, Sanvi, Shavun, Shaman, Prerna, Kritisha and Priyanka are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Amazing. So question number 34 of 50 questions. In potato, in potato, potato, a vegetative propagation takes place by. Hi, everybody on YouTube. You can join us on uh, the Menti Quiz. The code is given to you in the chat section. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And then only then you can interact, chat in the live chat. Yes. And also, if you're wondering, ki yaar, both questions ho gaya, ab kya karenge? So remember, it's all about the practice that you're getting. It's about the revision that you're getting. Yes. And time's up. The correct answer is stem tuber. Absolutely correct. So potato is not a root. It is, a, a, it is a, the stem through where the food has, you know, deposited itself. And that is the potato. Uh, Hindi mein, I don't know, but obviously there's a term which I'm not aware about, Shamu. So let's see the leaderboard. So we have Rishiti, Shubhi, Thinki, Bhavya, Shamoon, Sanvi, Shaman, Kritisha, Priyanka, Prerna are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Shubhi have given us the fastest answer. 35th question of the 50 questions that we have. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is now a diagram based question where you have to answer, where you have to answer what is the labeled part, what is the labeled part of B doing? Oh, that's nice. Very, very nice. So the correct answer is transport of male gametes to the ovary because the me part that was labeled over there, what was that? That was none other than the style. Yes, and style does the function of carrying. That is where the, well, uh, the pollen tube goes from. Yes, or goes through. Very, very nice. Let's look at the leaderboard. Very nice. Most of you have given us the absolute correct answer. So we have Bhavya going up on the leaderboard. That's nice. So we have Rishiti, Shubhi, Bhavya, Thinki, Shamoon, Sanvi, Shaman, Kritisha, Priyanka and Prerna are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations everybody. Let's move on to the 36th question of the 50 questions that we have. How many male gametes? are produced by each pollen grain. Now, if you have paid attention to sexual reproduction in geosperms, uh, then I think you should be able to answer this question. <coughs> Last 10 seconds to go. How many male gametes are produced by each pollen grain? 
Well, 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 the correct answer is two. Absolutely correct. So one pollen grain gives rise to two male gametes, one goes and fertilizes the egg cell, the other goes and fertilizes the polar nuclei, and that gives rise to zygote and endosperm respectively. All right? So therefore, the correct answer is option B, two. So we have Shubhi, Shamun, Sanvi, Shaman and Prerna giving us the absolute correct answer. Wonderful work and that gives rise to Shamun. Very, very nice. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 37 of 50 questions. Let's see. What happens to the label A which falls on a suitable stigma? Okay. Now A might not be very very clear but A na uske upar hai. Matlab pollen grain ko aap A samjho. Thik hai? What happens to the label A which falls on a suitable stigma? Pollen grain gradually disintegrates. Pollen grain directly reaches the embryo sac. Pollen grain starts germinating in the form of a pollen tube. Uh, pollen grain changes into ovules and then to fruit. Yes. So whenever you guys are ready, just give the answer and go to the options very, very carefully. Very, very nice. Everybody has given us the correct answer. The correct answer is pollen grain starts germinating and forms a pollen tube. Absolutely correct. Yes, because that is exactly what happens. Pollen grain does not disintegrate because what is present hota hai? there is presence of nectar. So it swells it up and then a tube-like structure is formed through which the male gametes travel to the ovule. Yes. Let's look at the leaderboard. So we have Rishiti, Modak, Shubhi, Bhavya, Shamoon, Thinki, Sanvi. Oh, oh, Sanvi upar chali gai hai. Fir Thinki hai. Shaman, Prerna, Kritisha and Priyanka are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations everybody. An amazing, amazing work uh, done by you guys. Yes, to see char rahe ho. Chale. Aage badta hai. Agale question ki taraf. Ji. And here is the 38th question of the 15 questions that we are doing, everybody. Yes, so in the list of organisms given below, you have to mark the ones that reproduce by asexual method of reproduction. So the first option is banana, then we have dog, peace, and amoeba. And this means you have to decide who are the ones that reproduce through asexual method. Now, the asexual method can be natural, it can be artificial as well. Okay? So, asexual me pata hai na, dono aata hai. So, isi liye achche se, dek ke, sun ke, read kar ke answer ki jaga. Last five seconds to go. And time's up. That is absolutely correct. The correct answer is 1, 3 and 4. It is not 2 and 4. It is not one in four. Why? Because banana is artificially, uh, you know, it is uh, propagated. So it comes under asexual reproduction. Amoeba shows fission, uh, multiple fission. Yeast shows budding, right? So these are all examples of asexual reproduction. Very, very nice. Very good, very good. Chali, dekhte hain aap leaderboard mein kaise machar rahe hain. Ji, so we have Rishiti, Modak, Shubhi, Bhavya, Shamoon, Sanvi, Shaman, Thinki, Prerna, Kritisha, and Priyanka. Sanvi have given us the fastest answer. Very, very nice. And let's move on to the ninth question of the 50 questions that we have. In a flower, the parts that produce male and female gametes, okay? In plants, we are not talking about humans, we are talking about plants. So, these are germ cells produce karte hai, male and female gamete. Wo, where do they stay? Do they stay in stamen and anther, filament and stigma, anther and ovary, stamen and style? So, where exactly do you find them? 
last 15 seconds to go very very nice every one of you have voted and the correct answer is anther and ovary absolutely correct because anther is the place where pollen grains are because pollen sacs are present over there ovary is the place where uh, there is presence of ovum that is egg right so ovules right the correct answer is option c So we have Rishiti, Shubhi, Bhavya, Shamoon, Shaman, Prerna, Kritisha and Priyanka are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, Shamoon has given us the fastest answer. That is wonderful. And let's move on to the 40th question out of the 50 questions that we have. So only last 10 questions, only last 10 questions to go. So now you'll have to tell me. The length of the length of the pollen tube. The length of the pollen tube depends upon who. Yes. So does it depend upon the pollen grain and the upper surface of stigma? Pollen grain on the upper surface of the stigma and the ovule. Pollen grain on the anther and upper surface of stigma. Pollen uh, upper surface of stigma and the lower surface of style. So whenever you think you are ready, give the answer very, very carefully. Yes. And the correct answer is very nice. The correct answer is pollen grain on upper surface of stigma and ovule. Absolutely correct. So length of the pollen tube depends on the distance between the pollen means stigma ke upar girega. So you are going to consider the upper surface of stigma, right? And the pollen tube is going to develop, 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 and enter into the ovule, right? So that will be the length of the pollen tube. And that is how you're going to calculate it from the upper surface of stigma to the ovule. And option B is the absolute correct answer. So let's look at the leaderboard. Also, guys, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up if you're enjoying. Also share it with your friends if you would like them to also revise. So we are Shuti, Modak, Shubhi, Shamoon, Bhavya, Sami, Shaman, Tinki, Prerna, Kritisha and Priyanka are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. And the fastest answer is given to us by Shamoon. Very, very nice. The 41 question of the 50 questions that we are doing. The correct sequence of organs in the male reproductive system for transport of sperm is. So we did a question like this, but that was the, trans the a path of sperm in the female reproductive system, right? But over here, you have to tell that how exactly is uh, the sperms traveling when they are in the male reproductive structure, okay? So whenever you guys are ready, <coughs> very, very nice. The absolute correct answer is option A. So we have testis, so as deference, and then urethra, right? Because testis, you put epididymis, and epididymis is really connected to vas deferens, and then it goes through all the glands, and then finally comes to urethra, yes, through which it is ejaculated out of the body. So the correct answer is option A. Okay, so we have Rishuti, Shamun, Bhavya, Sanvi, Shaman, Prerna, and Priyanka have given us the absolute correct answers. There are some changes in the leaderboard. That's nice. So Priyanka have given us the absolute fastest answer. Very, very nice. Good work, good work. Let's go on and move on to the next question. That is the 42nd question of the 50 questions that we have. Which, so there are some diseases that are given to you on the screen. Yes. So 
So you have syphilis, hepatitis, HIV, AIDS, and gonorrhea. Now you have to tell that which of these diseases are not sexually transmitted. Hi, Pramod Pal. Hello. Welcome to the session. Yes. That's right. Absolutely correct. Time's up. And the correct answer is hepatitis. Very, very nice. Syphilis, syphilis, HIV, gonorrhea are all examples of sexually transmitted diseases. Syphilis and gonorrhea can be treated. Yes, they can absolutely be treated. Whereas hepatitis uh, is, well, not sexually transmitted. And HIV AIDS is an untreatable condition. So therefore, our uh, hepatitis is the correct answer. Okay. So most of you have given us the correct answer. Very, very nice. Very nice. Sanvi has given us the fastest answer. Wonderful. So we have Ruthi, Shubhi, Bhavya, Shaman, Sanvi, Shaman, Tinki, Prerna, Priyanka, and Kritisha are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. Hi, Pramod. Hello, hello, hello. Let's move on to the next question. And that is coming on the screen. Which contraceptive method changes the hormonal balance yes, of the body? So while you have this contraceptive method, it uh, it um, uh, messes or it rather uh, interferes or it like changes or it makes the hormonal balance according to itself. So who might do that? Condoms, diagrams, oral pills or both A and B. So who do you think is the answer? Yes, and the time's up. All of you have voted. That's nice. And let's look at the leaderboard. Absolutely correct. The answer is oral pills because both condoms and diaphragms come under barrier methods of contraception, right? So they are not going inside the body or not eating them. They do not contain any hormones. So they are not, they are not going to interfere. Yes, the correct answer is very nice. Oral pills. <laughs> Shamon is like... <laughs> Okay, so we have Rishiti, Bhavya, Shamoon, Sanvi, Shaman, Prerna, Priyanka. Very, very nice. Shamoon has given us the absolute fastest answer. That's wonderful. Very, very good. Let's move on to the 44th question of the 50 questions that we have. What should be maintained for a healthy society? What should be maintained for a healthy society? Rate of birth and death. Male and female sex ratio, child sex ratio, or none of these. You have last 15 seconds to answer. Yes. So for a healthy society, we should always consider what? What is it? Think about it. Give pressure on your brain because it is not very hard. Well, well, well. And everybody has voted. Oh, no. The correct answer is male and female ratio. That's right. In any society, uh, to maintain the male and female ratio, that is a very, very important. The number of males should always be, uh, you know, both male and female should always be almost equal or equal, better to say, right? Whereas you cannot control the rate of birth and death, right? Also, child sex ratio. See, most of you have answered child sex ratio, similar number male, female, but child ka yaap, gender is not given to you, no? So, child, what is child? Male child or female child? Yes. None of the answers is not, none of these is not the correct answer. So, option D is the absolute correct one. So, we have Rushiti and Sanvi giving us the absolutely correct answer from the leaderboard. Absolutely correct. And Sanvi has given us the fastest answer. Very, very nice. Uh, C is not correct, Shamoon. Because you have a child, na. So you don't have to maintain child ratio. You have to maintain male and female ka ratio. Girl and boy ka ratio. Yes. So they might be child. But with child, that is what matters. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to the 45th question of the 50 questions that we have. So blobs. Blobs that develop at the tips of the non-reproductive thread is known as now this question is also made very easy because a diagram is given to you to represent if it uh, if you cannot see the diagram then imagine it being a fungus 
yes a diagram of fungus that you have in your textbook just imagine that and what are those blobs yes so last five seconds to go and let's see let's see let's see absolutely correct answer those blobs or nothing but sporangia absolutely right very very nice So inside the sporangia, we see a lot of spores being kept, right? Ushadi should be Bhavya Sanvi Prerna have given us the absolute correct answer. And Sanvi has moved on on the leaderboard. So we have Rushati should be Sanvi Bhavya Shabun, Shaman Prerna, Thinky Priyanka, and Pritisha are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations, everybody. Very, very nice. Hi, Mahir Soni. Hello. Welcome to the session. Nice to have you in the class. Let's move on to the next question. That is the 46th question of the 50 questions that we have. How are you doing, Mahir? Which of these plants reproduce in the same way as the last diagram? So I hope you remember which last diagram was. What was the question in the last diagram? Yes. So you have to tell me that the last diagram was the mode of reproduction. Tha. So, the mode of reproduction is out of these plants, which one of them reproduces? Yes. So, whenever you guys are ready, that's five seconds to go. And the correct answer is absolutely the correct answer is fern. Very, very nice. So, ferns, if you see the back side of the leaves of the ferns, you will see black, black spots. And inside those black, black spots, we have the spores. Yes. Um, so we have Rushati, Shubhi, Bhavya, Sanvi, Shamoon, Shaman, Prerna, Priyanka, Thinky, and Kritisha are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Congratulations. Priyanka has given us the fastest answer. Very well done. So let's move on to the 47th question or the 50th question. Last four questions, guys. Yes. So the labels A, B, and C. So an image is given to you. And you have to tell which is what is marked as label A, what is marked as label B, and what is marked as label C. Read the labels very, very carefully. Very nice. Last five seconds to go. Very good. And time's up. Very, very nice. The correct answer is option A. Absolutely correct. A was uh, pointing towards the anther, the tip of the male reproductive system, right? Uh, B was the style and C was the ovary. So the correct answer is option A. That is anther, style and ovary. Let's look at the leaderboard. Most of you have given us the absolute correct answer. That's amazing, guys. So we have Rishati, Shubhi, Bhavya, Sanvi, Shamoon, Shaman, Prerna, Priyanka, Thingi and Rink are the top 10 on the leaderboard. Uh, very, very nice. So let's see question number 48 of the 50 questions. So last three questions for today. Which of these events, which of these events does not take place after fertilization? Which of these events do not take place after fertilization? Last 15 seconds to go. So we have the correct answer as transfer of pollen from anther to stigma of a flower is the absolute correct answer. Yes. See, after fertilization, see, after fertilization, as soon as the male and the female they meet, what is going to happen? The formation of zygote, then it is the development of 
as the seed that is from the ovule right and the ovary will form the fruit so abhi fertilization hone ke baad fir alag se wapas se sa pollen grain aayega stigma and everything is going to happen the answer is no right so the correct answer is option d very nice so we have rushiti bhavya sanvi shamun shubhi shaman prerna priyanka thinki and renka the top 10 on the leaderboard very very nice sanvi has given us sanvi has given us the absolute uh, fastest answer very very nice uh, oh this is the second last question second last question for today and that is the 49th question Let's see which of the following statement is incorrect about pollination. It precedes fertilization. It brings male and female closer, basically the gametes. It follows fertilization and it introduces variation in plants. So which do you think is the option is incorrect about pollination? Yes. Uh, for this i think you should know a meaning of a few words then you are all ready to go absolutely correct the correct answer is it follows fertilization yes see precede fertilization matlab kya ki wo fertilization ke pehle aata hai so obviously na pollination pehle hota hai fir fertilization hota hai right so after after pollination what is going to happen the male gametes and the female gametes are going to come closer they are going to be used to form a zygote right and as this is sexual reproduction then what is going to happen male or female they mean alag alag hai so kya aane wala hai variation aane wala hai so a b and d are the absolute correct answers it follows fertilization it's not right because fertilization ke baad pollination nahi hota uske pehle hota hai so it's preceding it okay therefore option c is absolutely incorrect and that becomes the correct answer okay so rishiti prerna and rink have given us the absolute correct answer very very nice and we are moving on to the last question for today that's right you heard me absolutely correctly that is the 50th question of the 50 questions that we have done oh it's an assertion and reasoning so characters assertion says characteristics of parental plants can be preserved through asexual reproduction yes reason vegetative reproduction involves by mitosis so which do you think is the correct answer yes last 15 seconds to go <coughs> oh so so sorry about that last 5 seconds and this was the last question very very nice the absolutely correct answer is option a because mitosis hota hai and mitosis does what mitosis preserves the parental that's right characteristics of parents and that is the correct answer that's right shamoon hi rishiti thank you so much and <clears throat> shamoon shaman and rink have given us the correct answer shaman has given us the fastest answer oh my goodness this is beyond amazing why because you can see rishiti is the winner and shamoon on the last question came up to the second rank followed by bhavya sanvi should be then azam then followed by chaudhary ji priyanka rink and thinky are the final top 10 on the leader board congratulations everybody you have done an amazing job congratulations congratulations rishiti very very good work done by all of you hello guys can you see me live Hello, 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 hello. Uh, hmm, that's very nice, Sushiti. Good to know. Uh, 
okay i think you can okay so as i was telling you guys that you can find me live if you're not a subscriber of plus you can find me live every day on an academy free life classes at least in the month of february yes and uh, you can actually talk to me real time chat to me ask questions in the chat section also you can ask live poll for options of quizzes and the best part is you can bring your friends along and you can actually do a healthy competition which is absolutely needed whenever you're competing yes also guys on an academy plus we have some amazing batches that are going to be live specifically for the month of march because as you know your uh, term two examinations are coming up so we are covering everything we are covering pyqs we are covering doubts we are covering one shot that gives you a very quick quick revision yes and as you can see here is the batch that says final battle that's right and here i am taking up your science every tuesday thursday and saturday at 5 15 to 6 15 pm right that's absolutely correct so you can subscribe to an academy plus and iconic and you can catch my classes also there's this amazing feature that's there currently live that is bugs bounty that's right so if in any 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 uh video that you're watching on an academy on this on youtube all right so there is a link in the description box below you can go on to that link to report that particular issue and if you're the first one to report that particular issue you can claim some amazing prizes that's right so report any inappropriate content and the form is there in the description box below that's right also guys let me tell you as i told you there are two types of subscription one is iconic subscription one is plus subscription okay so plus subscription mein aapko live classes milte hain weekly tests milta hai unlimited access to all of these you also get structured courses right uh, you can walk from you can watch from the comfort of your house everything that is there on the uh, website you get access to it right but iconic kya hai iconic mein you get all the features of plus matlab iconic mein aapko plus ke features bhi milenge but aapko kuch extra features bhi milenge like you get a personal mentor who gives you one on one guidance on things related to exams or career how can you pursue it and what exactly is the way if you're not able to look at it also we have study planner which is customized it is absolutely made for you according to your plans of the day and it is also also bi-weekly reviews are done to see if it is actually working for you are you able to follow it also you get study material that is specialized notes and practice tests then on iconic you are also like as a workshops hote hain experts ke sath jo aapko aapki padhai kaisi boost karni hai how to improve your marks how to write answers right everything is taught to you on iconic and also you get a test analysis that's right you get one on one guidance from top exam experts so you are in the absolute safest hands so you understand what is plus and what is iconic so if you're somebody who requires that special attention and you require the study planner all of these things you can absolutely go for iconic so these are the plus subscription pricing as you can see you can go for 3 months 6 months 9 months 12 months 18 months 36 months 48 months like anything out of this right so if you know what you want to do in 11th and 12th time because if you subscribe to 10th standard aapko 11th or 12th ke videos bhi milenge so you can even watch that so aisa nahi hai ki agar aapne 10th mein subscribe kiya to 11th 12th ke baad aapko wapas subscribe karna padega no you can directly do that and you will get access to all of it similarly these are the iconic prizes and you can actually go for it yes similarly goes for iconic as well also we have a mega offer that is running for you and what is the offer so if you're subscribing for 12 months and above and using the code bb life 10 that's right because this code is going to give you an absolute 10 percent discount so agar aapne 12 months of subscription kharida to aapko two month ka extension absolutely free milta hai and you are getting 14 months of subscription but are you paying the entire price for the 12 month of subscription the answer is no you're only paying you're paying less than that you're paying 10 percent less than that why because 10 percent aapko discount mil raha hai if you're using the code bb live 10 understood also guys we have a special of special 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 uh offer running at the moment and that is uh specifically keeping in mind your board examinations that are coming up right so you can just subscribe to three months yes 
एंड आपको ऑलरेडी वो थ्री मंथ के पूरे क्या बोलते हैं प्राइस पे टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट मिलेगा बाय यूजिंग द कोड बी बी लाइफ टेन यस बट नॉट ओनली दिस यू विल आल्सो गेट वन मंथ एब्सोल्युटली फ्री सो द सेम प्राइस यू आर ऑलरेडी गेटिंग टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट ऑन यूजिंग बी बी लाइफ टेन बट आपको वन मंथ फ्री भी मिल रहा है सो यू आर गेटिंग फोर मंथ सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू समी यूज कन्फ्यूज की मैं साइंस लू क्या लू क्या लू क्या लू तो आपको ना लेवेंथ और ट्वेल्थ की क्लासेस भी मिलेंगे सो यू कैन एक्चुअली वॉच दो क्लासेस राइट एंड सी इफ यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई यू एन ज्वाइन द प्रोसेस राइट एंड क्योंकि वन मंथ आपको वैसे भी फ्री मिल रहा है सो जस्ट सी अगर आपको साइंस पसंद आ रहा है एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू डू दैट I'm giving science example because I'm a teacher of science, right? So you can absolutely go for it. And this offer is valid till twenty eighth of February. Okay. Also, I think prodigy is done for today. So this is it for today's session, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Share with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that whenever I or any other amazing educator is live, you get. notified that is absolutely important and correct okay so as i told that yes i will answer menti ho gaya bachcha menti ho gaya so as i told uh, i will answer the doubt of rushiti rushiti says that if someone is taking oral pills as contraceptives okay and decides to stop it one day so will her hormones start working normally again or will it affect somehow see uh for a if it is for a very long period of time right so the body was totally dependent on the oral pills right so the automatic cycle of the body was not working right it was totally dependent upon the pills so if after a long period of time if you are getting off of contraceptive pills then you will understand and you will understand that yes uh see abhi achanak se you were uh, see offline mein aap the right aap class jaate the aap exam ka like you used to give exam attend lectures but achanak se corona aata and then you had to shift to online na to jo starting ke months they were a little hectic yes nahi samajh mein aata tha kya kare kaise kare how is everything going to happen but right now you know similarly if the body was dependent upon oral pills then and automatically remove it from it so obviously thoda body hardbada jayegi there will be some problems uh in the sense um, it will take some time to go back to normal how exactly the human body works but after then that it is going to be absolutely all right like how it is today yes so that is what is going to happen so i hope i answer your doubt also do not forget guys this is a very 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 amazing amazing thing that you have so do go do subscribe and do not forget to use the code bb life 10 because only one day is to go because it is valid well only till 28th of february okay so thank you so much guys do not forget to subscribe like share and hit the bell notification and i will see you next time till then bye bye everybody take care of yourselves i hope you enjoy the menti and thank you so much congratulations rushiti for being the first on the menti today and everybody else who participating and understanding how important is revision yes so bye guys thank you so much for coming in and take care of yourselves